Hello everyone, in this tutorial, we are going to understand how to make the involute of circle. This is the question. Draw the involute of circle of 50 mm diameter. So first of all, you have to draw the circle of 50 mm diameter. Then draw the diameter lines. Now you have to divide this complete circle into 12 equal divisions. With the help of protector, we can easily divide this circle into 12 equal divisions. So take the protector. Then mark the 30 degree from this side and 60 degree and from left side also 30 degree and then 60 degree. Now with the help of scale, join these lines and extend further downwards. Again take a line and extend further downwards. Again take a line to left side and extend downwards and last line and extend downwards. In this way, this is divided into 12 equal divisions. Now from point 12, make a horizontal line to right side and last point we will take it as a p point and the length of this line is whatever the circumference of the circle is pi d so pi into 50 so it is 157 mm so length of this 12 to p line is 157 mm now we will divide this 157 mm into 12 equal divisions now i will take the inclined line from point 12 and the length of this line is 12 cm so that i can divide this line with the help of scale into 1 1 cm like this you can say this i have divided into 1 1 cm or you can say that 10 mm now from the last point i will make a line with the help of scale and join with point p now take your scale forward to another point and make a parallel line to the previous line like this again take your scale forward to next point and make a parallel line to the previous lines so in this way you can make the lines which are parallel to your original line now name these points from 1 dash to 12 dash so, so 12 dash and p are the same points now we are going to make the tangent lines from 12 equal divisions of the circle give the naming to the center which is o now take a set square and parallel to o1 so that i can make a tangent from point 1 like this in the same way now put your set square at o2 and make a tangent like this in the same way put your set square at O3 parallel to O3 and make a tangent like this. You can also make a tangent with the help of protector. Take a protector, make your baseline of the protector parallel to O4 and make a point at 90 degree and make a line like this. In the same way, again put your protector and parallel to your O5 and make a point at 90 degree and make a line like this. So in this way, you can draw the tangents from each divisions. So I will draw the tangents from 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now after that, take a compass and put your compass at 1 dash and P. So take a measurement of this 1 dash and P and put your compass at here from 1 and make an arc over here. And provide this name as P1. In the same way, take your compass again. Now measure the distance 2 dash P. Put your compass at 2 and mark an arc over here and give this name as P2. In the same way, now put your compass at 3 dash 12 and come at point 3 and mark an arc over here. Now give this point name as P3. Now again take a compass and mark the distance 4-12 and put your compass at point 4 and mark an arc over here and give this point name as P4. In the same way we can mark the arcs on the tangents by taking the measurements from this horizontal line 5-2P. Take this measurement and put your compass at 5 and mark an arc over here. In the same way from 6 dash to 12 dash and put your compass at 6 and mark an arc over here. So we can give this namings P5, P6. In the same way we have a P7, P8, P9, P10 and last one is P11. 
Now students, we have a profile for the involute of our circle. Now just join this free hand. So from point P, I will start to P1, then P2, then P3, then P4, then P5, P6, P7, P8, P9, 10, 11, and we have to stop at 12 point. So this is the involute of our circle, which is 50 mm diameter. I hope you understand this question. If you have still any query, you can comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Be happy.